Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Okay, so my heart is broken. Right, before anything I, say, anything I say is my opinion, mine alone, please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's do this. Ezra Blout sadly passed away on Sunday. And just to remind you who that is, that's a nine-year-old whose dad took him to the Travis Scott Festival. This man should never be allowed on stage again. Ever. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you 11 faces why. When I say 11, the first one I will be putting up will be of a, of a gentleman called Kyle Green. Whilst at a Travis, a Travis Scott concert, Travis was trying to encourage him to jump from the balcony, a third floor balcony. Shouted out, they will catch you, they will catch you, it's safe. Kyle Green claims that he was then pushed. He will spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Travis Scott has been arrested twice and pled guilty to inciting a riot. While setting up a stage, a young stagehand was doing his job when Travis Scott didn't recognise him. He threw him off the stage with mouthfuls of abuse. Travis Scott, whilst crowd surfing, almost lost a trainer. Now, I don't know whether the young lad tried to steal his trainer, whether he got caught on his hand, which it cut off crowd surfing quite easily. This was a child, by the way. Travis Scott shouts at him, spits on him, and tells his audience to fuck him up. On the 5th of November, eight people passed away to his concert. There were 11 cardiac arrests. I'm not going to try, the, try and say the young lady's name because I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. But the ninth victim was a young girl who had been dropped on her head whilst on a stretcher. Ezra. Ezra is number 10. Number 11. Victims, number 11. Of Travis Scott. Every one of those victims' blood lay on his hands. Please send these families love, prayers, because they're going to need them right now. I have tried several times to make this video. And every time I end up crying. So this is going to be the one I put up. Tears or not, I don't care. One second. Ezra's dad is not responsible. He done an amazing thing for his little boy. Amazing. 
there are so many children who would love to be able to go to their first concert with their dad. But there should never, ever be another Travis, Travis Scott festival, concert, anything. If he needs to make music, he can make CDs. He can make uploads, downloads, whatever. Just do not trust this guy to ever get on stage again. This time he was 10. Will next time be another Hillsborough disaster? With 96 people lost their lives. Because if he is allowed on stage again, that's what will happen. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sick. I was hoping and praying with everything I am that, tra that Ezra would make it. But I found out today that he died on Sunday. And my heart is broken. <laughs> I can't imagine the pain that his dad is going through. I couldn't even imagine it. I couldn't bear it. moment sorry but i've got to take t time to blow my nose and you really don't want to watch me blow my nose ezra's dad is not responsible for what happened he thought he was doing a good thing by taking his son to see his favorite artist as any parent out there would love to do for a lot of us it's not possible financially But he was for Travis's dad. And you could tell by some of the photos you've seen that he was having a good time. His dad got crushed. He got knocked off his shoulders. And the damage was unrepairable. Please send your condolences to his family and to each and every family affected by Travis Scott. He should be in a cell, not a nice cosy bed. Oh God, here it goes. I am so unwell guys, it's unreal. But I had to come on here and do this video tonight. I just needed to, needed to get it off my chest, you know. My heart breaks, literally breaks for every family affected by Travis Scott, including Kyle. I want to know what it's like to be in a wheelchair. It's not great. Especially when you're an adult going into a wheelchair that you haven't spent your entire life in. It's hard for anyone, but like when you spend your entire life in one, it's all you know. But he was 23 when he was pushed for a third floor balcony. And ended up paralysed. And then you got the young lady who was dropped on her head. I'm not going to put the put it in here. I don't think anybody needs to see that anymore. It is literally heartbreaking. Ten people died because of Travis Scott. One person will spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. And I'm just going to end it here because I'm going to get angry and I'm going to start cursing. And I want to stay calm and collected. 
please send your love to these families. Condolences. Prayers. Anything you can do. And I'll put all your pictures at the end. Thanks for watching.